Grand Summoners, we have been playing it for a while, uh, I guess a month. We've been playing it for some months, you know what I'm saying? And there's a couple units that have been out for a while since we've been playing that uh, I would consider underrated or not used and more like live under the other units hype. And they're actually good units to have on your team. You don't have to use them as the main unit per se, or you can use them for your second raid team. It really doesn't matter. But Hero Fest Darkfall is here, guys, right here. We have Dark Zord, we have Malia, we have Gia, we have Zila, we have Courtney, we have Melina. We 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 have them all. All right, Darkfall is here. Uh, Dark Zord is here. All right, Dark Zord. We know about this man. We've seen videos about this man. Uh. But I don't want to talk about him right now. I want to talk about two units right now, and that's Jill and Courtney. Jill and Courtney, y'all see me talk about Jill and Courtney a lot. I got, I got Jill, um, and I think she's absolutely amazing for Earth Mono. Uh, I don't have her true weapon, but I think she's am amazing. I uh, love to use her on Earth Mono. Um, she has a five star attack, five star shield, and a four star magic or four star support. If that's not juicy to you, I, I don't I don't know. You're literally asking for too much. I mean, yeah, we have Fox, we have Birdwick, we got all these uh, attack units that does all this damage and all this magic drive units and everything that can do all this stuff. But what about the other units? You know what I'm saying? This is this this is what this video I'm making this video for. All these other units are here, and you can use them. I mean, Jill is about a A tier unit. And she's not bad. She can be as a sub attacker too. Um, she has secret agent shadows, skill CC down with near death level seven, and auto recovery level eight. Now for her true arts, some of you guys <coughs> didn't know about this. Excuse me. Uh, when you use her true arts, you have another clone will appear, and she does the same damage uh, with a skill only affecting the real unit, but the arts. The arts affects her. So, Jill, the real one, will be doing the arts, and her clone will be doing the arts too. So, if you use your true arts again, it's just gonna basically, it's gonna be gone by the time you get your true arts again, but you, it won't, like, you won't do any damage. It was just Jill will reappear as another clone, so you use her arts. So you have that 17k damage again, so it will be 17k damage Jill, 17k damage her clone doing. And the skill only counts to Jill, the real one. Alright, some of y'all didn't know that. I guess, uh, like I, I used her in a couple of videos, and um, I used her in Crest Palace, things like that. And she, so, she spawned to me and used her for Earth Mono, and, and I, I love it. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Now... Going to her true weapon. Her true weapon is actually pretty good, and you can actually use it on multiple units. But that's for that's for another video. We're gonna talk about that later. Uh, going into Courtney, uh, she has 22k dark damage for her, uh, reduces enemies' attack, defense, and break resistance by 50% for 15 seconds. Uh, she has a five star magic, five star um, support, and a four star support. All right. Um, one thing I want to talk about Courtney. It says I really just like the equip slots that they have on her. She actually is a, like a big support to the team if you use her for our Dark Mono team. Even if you just use her on a regular team, um, use her as a sub. She she's actually not that bad with technically using her. Um, can't use her. I wouldn't recommend using her like for my main. But let me tell let me tell you why. Okay, so she has a five star magic. Um, this this can give out some arching. This is really that I like to do. So we have the four star magic equip. You can run arc in the night. Uh, five star. You could probably run a damage magic equip. Then you can run another support hill or something that gets off arc gen. That's one thing I like about her support slots that she you can give out plenty a lot of arc gen with this uh, support slot. And so with uh, even with Jill, you have the four star. Uh, support slot and which helps out a lot and, and it, it, com it comes in clutch to be honest I just think these units are Overseed and overlooked and underrated uh, Most people don't like want to use them. They just want to use you know weaver box Very quick. Well, you know those units are good there. They deserve the credit they get because they are amazing They are top tier units. They're S tier units. Why wouldn't you use them? But we have multiple units in these games. It's, it, it'd be nice, you know change it up a little bit 
keep it fresh, keep it going because um I found out something uh Dragon Ball Legends have gills. They're getting they're getting gills before Grand Summoners. They're getting gills before Grand Summoners. I don't I don't want to go into full depth with it. I didn't want to make a whole video, a rant video about about this, but they keeping the they keeping the game fresh, you know what I'm saying? And we gotta keep it fresh somehow because we can't even get a guild. We gotta keep it fresh. We gotta use different units, different teams, and keep it fine. That's why I do the main team uh, videos with Valhalla, Roy, and uh, whatever other units I can find. Uh, but yeah, all right, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like, sub, and subscribe. Thank you for all the support. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Let's hit 2,000 subscribers, and um, I love you guys. And uh, follow my Instagram, my Twitter, Seamus Plug. You know me at Backwater Sleepy. It'll be in the description below. You also see it on my banner in my channel, Seamus Plug. Like I said, I'll see you guys later. Keep 100, and you can't force a vibe. I'm out. Peace.